Well, parents are speaking out after four Evangel Christian Academy football players are expelled. It comes after an investigation into an alleged incident of bullying involving a teen with autism. NBC 6's Darren Todd spoke with the players and their parents and shares more. All this stuff like it's been going on. Four junior football players at Evangel Christian Academy were expelled Wednesday morning after allegations of bullying during a weekend trip to Baton Rouge on the Thanksgiving weekend. The parents say that they were shocked by the news. We need some answers. You know, we don't even know why our kids are getting expelled. You called us over the phone instead of calling us in to tell us, hey, this these accusations have been made. We need to figure out what's happening. Who investigated? Why weren't we involved? Why weren't we informed? Well, the coach and whoever else the other person were, they did the investigation and the investigation is final. We've come up with our final decision. According to the players, this is what they recall happening that night. We got a, got a uh, noise complaint from in their room, but it wasn't our room. We went over there and I knocked on the door and they didn't want to answer. It was way more people than it was supposed to be. It was late at night and in the background, it was a dude telling somebody else to get on his knees, or open his mouth. And the dude had just got out of the shower. He was he had a towel around him by himself. The players say that they were not involved in the incident, but they did witness the wrongdoing. I feel yeah, I feel bad for him, but I, I'm not the type of person that just he's autistic. So, but I should have did something about it. But I, I didn't want to wake the coaches up and then they just be like, "Why are we all horse playing?" Because it was going to turn into something that we ain't want. I don't know how severe his autism is. That's not okay. That's almost sexual assault. I feel like the four young men that got expelled may have saved him. The school principal released a statement saying, we release students from our school that we love, but they cross the evangel line with their behavior. We have a strict policy when it comes to bullying. I'm sure that seems harsh to the parents of the disciplined students. I understand that, but it's the evangel way. We don't want any student here to feel uncomfortable in their space because of the intimidation by another student. The players and the parents say that this has impacted them mentally and could impact their athletic future. Stress and stuff, cause you know, like that was a good school, and I liked the school, you know, and I had good grades. I was just now, like, better in myself, stuff like that. I mean, it is what it is. I can't change it, but I feel like, I feel like it could have been a certain way to do it. No, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what school he needs to, what school he's going to, or what's going on. And I'm highly upset, cause my son, one of the ones that had got violated. The parents say that they just want answers and clarity. I hope that they get to play football next year. You know, put your um, feet in our shoes and see what we're going through with our children. In Shreveport, Darren Todd, NBC6 News. And we don't know yet what happened to the other students allegedly involved in the incident. We reached back out to the school after speaking with the parents and so far no response.